Welcome to Weld.com. <clears throat> we're getting ready to do a video on a on a process here with some some different rod, and I grabbed up a couple of thick pieces of half inch plate and had them beveled, and I got a weird fit. So we're just going to create a video on a weird fit. This whole deal was was for a downhill uh, root hot pass and some fill passes. So you know. Normally when I'm running downhill, I like it pretty tight fit, run hot amperage, but this is gonna create a little bit of a problem here. So we're opened up in the middle and we're tight up on the ends here. So let me get some gear on and get fit up here. We'll show you what's going on. I got going on this, I, I was started out because it was real tight. I uh, started out with an eighth inch 6010 and about 95 amps. And we're going along pretty good and then all of a sudden it starts widening out quite a bit. So I wasn't progressing, my keyhole was getting big, I'm losing it, so I stopped. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to save this by going with a 532nd rod. I'm gonna turn the amperage up to 105, which should be kind of on the low end of a 532. I hope that, you know, and I'm gonna start up here, come down to the keyhole, try to save this, come down here until I see it closing up and again, and then I'm gonna go back to a smaller rod and a high, and a high amperage for that rod. So from here to here, I ran the 532nd. Now I'm switching back because this is nice and tight again. I'm switching back to an eighth inch and I'm going back to the 95 amps. Okay, uh, ran the root in here. <clears throat> I've got decent profile where I started with the eighth inch. I came over here and I t it was getting away from me, so I turned it up a little bit, went to a 532nd, got down here where it closed up again, went back to the eighth, and I've got one pucker mark up here where I uh, snubbed out a little bit. So <clears throat> now I'm gonna go back to a 532nd 6010 and run a hot pass in here. I've ground this out. I do not want to restructure what went on back here. And by the way, when it comes to a bad fit, I'd rather weld it uphill and control it than I would weld it downhill. To me, it's just easier to get the reinforcement and control uh, that keyhole going up. So uh, I've got 70% dig, uh, Rebel Renegade here, 115, 532nd. And if it's not hot enough, then I will definitely turn it up.
Okay, I, uh, I cleaned this out, I buffed it. Uh, it did kind of what I said. When I struck an arc up here, I realized it might be just a bit cold, so I did turn it up to 120 amps. I left the dig alone. But again, since this was a little wider in here, I didn't want to push too hard. It heated up the backside. I just didn't want to restructure, take a chance of blowing through. It wasn't that big of a deal. But now we've created this set of uh, half inch coupons for our experiment with our downhill rod that we're gonna do. Again, this was kind of a weird fit. We were prepping some material and we had this strange thing where it was real tight here, real wide here, real tight down here. And it's because one of these plates is bent. So recutting it really wasn't gonna do anything. I did slam hammer it over there on the anvil. It didn't do anything because it's half inch thick. So kind of a cool creation. Uh, you know, switching up rods, recognizing situations and amperages, knowing how things are gonna react here. So, hope you found this educational, I sure did. I haven't done this in a while. And uh, again, <clears throat> you know, if I run into some bad stuff and it's non-critical, I'm not held by code or anything, I'd rather just weld it uphill, create that profile, not worry about it. But, doing downhill stuff, if you're bound to your procedure for downhill everything, then you gotta be able to recognize situation and do some tricks here with this fit up. Please subscribe to the videos. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching Weld.com. I'm Bob Moffat with Cali College. Huh? Yeah. Huh? That's 532. No? Prove it. That's eighth. That's 532. Told you. Just stay tuned next week. We'll uh We'll run some different rod here, some 8045 P2 downhill, low hydrogen downhill rod.